Did you read T.J. Simers' column? That was another one. I kind of we had Simers on, and he was all pissed off at me because I I called him out for sitting in the media room for a couple of the fights and bitching about his seat. But the bigger story was T.J. You had the column written before you got there. Yeah, well, what we did find out is that T.J. doesn't like violence in any sport. So at yeah, least he's no, T.J. T.J. doesn't like fighting. Right. Period. He doesn't like fighting. He doesn't like contact. He doesn't like any of that. Um, so you're never going to convert a guy like TJ. It's it's never going to happen, never. I don't even worry about no. I don't worry about team uh, TJ. The one that I heard, you know, you know what all the MMA media was calling me about. Everybody was calling me and smashing Lance Pugmire. I guess it was, everybody said it was absolutely ridiculous what he wrote. Difference is TJ, TJ, TJ is an older. What do you think? He's in his sixties. Something like that. Yeah, I'd say yeah. so. TJ's in his 60s. He doesn't like violence. He doesn't like fighting. He doesn't like contact sports. He's not into any of that. So you're never going to convert that guy. Everybody was calling me yesterday, smashing Lance Pugmire. All, all the other media, all other media people were calling me, smashing him. He's an MMA writer, and they said that his column was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Ray Ratto, who writes for CBSSports.com, he wrote that uh, this is a niche sport, and this is the best night you're ever going to have. It's done from here. It can't go any further. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> it's guys like that that are that are small guys. Man, people people have been saying that to me since like the Ken, like the Tito Chuck fight. You know what I mean? The Ken Chuck fight. This was this was your big one. It's never going to get any bigger than this. Listen, the people that don't get it absolutely positively don't get it, and the people that do. You know, you watch and see what happens. The debate that I saw yesterday on Pardon the Interruption, you know, between two guys that aren't in the demo, all right, people are starting to get it. People are starting to feel it. You know, when you when you have the successful – listen to this, man. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not even going to get crazy on your show here. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relax, and we're going to talk <laughs> about this auction. I, I, could, I was just going to go off. No, on, go off. Go know, off. No, I'm not. I what, what, I'm what? not going to do it. You can't tease us like that. I got – I got – I was going to know. No, There's play. so many because because Saturday was so successful. The stuff that we're working on right now, mm-hmm. these, these moron. Who, who was the moron you just said said that? Ray Ratto from CBS Sports. From CBS Sports, mm-hmm. Ray Ratto. You know, Ray Ratto is one of these small-minded. You know, one of these guys that lives inside that that little tiny box. You know, of basketball, baseball, this, that, and everything else. This, it, it's guys like him. Um, you know, if if everybody was like him. You're, he, you're right. The UFC wouldn't be where it is today, and, and, and other people who have other ideas. Can I tell you? Is God, a small thinker, yep. small-minded knucklehead. Um, but uh, I'm telling you, you watch and see the things that we're working on right now because Saturday was so successful. Let me tell you. Let me just give you a, a, a peek. Mexico was so big. We aired this thing down there to 100 million uh, people in Mexico. Um, we, we had 25 million viewers. Hmm. In Mexico, 25 million people watched it. Mexico's going crazy right now, and and that's the one we've been dying to get. This thing aired in China. It kicked ass in China. It's just trust me when I tell you. I say it all the time, and I know I'm preaching to the choir with you guys. You guys have been in it since the beginning. This is going to be the biggest sport in the world, and we are going to crush everything. This will be the number one sport in the world. Mark my words.